This is the new Kodak Ektachrome, and I'm actually a huge fan of this film. I find the images it gives me are just really, really nice, crisp, clear images, and it has really nice colors, and it looks, it's pretty damn good stuff. And it's a slide film. Now, the only thing is, I really, really want to shoot this Ektachrome in medium format, but it doesn't exist. Currently, the date is, I think, April 2020. I read that somewhere online. While I was editing this video, Kodak has actually made the announcement that Ektachrome in 120 and 4x5 sheet formats is starting to ship. So that's good news. And now back to our regularly scheduled video. But currently there's no medium format Ektachrome, which I'm quite annoyed about since I picked up this Bronica. I've been wanting to shoot medium format Ektachrome. I've shot some Provia and Velvia 120 and the results are absolutely stunning. Yeah, you know, medium format slide is just like, oh, damn, it is beautiful to look at. So to stave off my uh, desire for Ektachrome, I decided to pick up this, which is Ektachrome 160T. I found it on eBay for, I think it was 30 euro. It was a reasonable price, you know, a pack of, a five pack of Velvia, you're talking 50 quid. So Ektachrome 160T for 30 euro expired. It's okay. It said it was cold stored and all that, so, but you've no way to verify it. So I could have been sold film that I've been stored next to a furnace for 10 years, but you're not going to know till you shoot it. So this is also a tungsten film, uh, 160T for T for tungsten, which means it's a very blue film. So the balance on the film is that it's designed for shooting under kind of orangey light or tungsten light. Um, this blue effect can be countered so if you're shooting in daylight you need to put a yellow filter on your camera to warm up the image it's I think called an 85c filter I don't have one of those so I decided I'm gonna go out and shoot at night when all the street lights are on and the weather decided to not cooperate so a couple of days later I went back out and I ended up with these two rolls it actually worked out surprisingly well the blue is still there it's very apparent and uh, this is mostly because Dublin has been replacing a lot of its old yellow street lights with white street lights and uh, particularly anywhere where there's been construction they've replaced all the lights with white LED lights so most of it like all around here around um, Tara Street and the Rosie Hackett Bridge and on the Liffey and down here in um, Temple Bar very very blue but you see some images here around Christchurch where the yellow color actually kind of made it look normal ish uh, it looked oh, surprisingly okay. I'm actually kind of surprised. For a film that expired 17 years ago, not half bad. I did shoot the film at box speed because apparently slide film, you just shoot at box speed all the time. The film didn't come out particularly grainy. You know, there was no, like it wasn't overly grainy. So I actually do think that these were stored correctly, which is quite nice. They did have a bit of a magenta shift and that's apparently normal enough for expired slide film. You kind of expect it to shift towards magenta. So if you're scanning these, you can actually correct a lot of this in post. I've gotten most of the blue out of a few of the scans, but I kind of like the way they turned out. Another thing to note is that I actually home developed these slides in a Techno E6 kit. It's not like professional lab results, but they came out surprisingly okay. Uh, shooting tungsten film, expired slide film, surprisingly good. You know, I'd give it a C, C minus maybe, you know, the results came out better than I thought they would. Um, for expired film, they actually came out pretty, pretty okay. And I suppose that's really it for the video, you know, there's not much else to say. Expired slide film. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.